Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. I'll be your host, Ryan Krunenberg. So there's been quite a few announcements in the last seven days. Gartner have released their new Magic Quadrant for 2017. AWS also had a summit in Hong Kong this week where they announced the new Hong Kong region for 2018. DynamoDB Accelerator is now generally available. Reinvent 2017 tickets are now on sale. And most recently, there's been a Lambda outage on the East Coast. And stay tuned for how this affected the A-Cloud Guru platform and how we recovered from it. Gartner released their Infrastructure as a Service Magic Quadrant this week, and AWS are leaders again, surprise, surprise. They've been leading this space for the last seven years in a row. So for those of you that don't know who Gartner are, they're one of the leading research and advisory companies in the world, and they help business leaders uh, across a number of industries make their decisions. And Magic Quadrant is basically a model that looks at market trends and the companies involved against two axes. And these axes are completeness of vision and the ability to execute. Now this forms four different quadrants. We have our niche or niche players, depending on where you're from. We have our challenges, we have our visionaries, and we have our leaders. And exactly how Gartner arrive at this uh, magic quadrant is not publicly shared. Now we've made this really cool animation for you guys to have a look at how cloud has evolved over the last seven years. So here we have our first Magic Quadrant in 2010, and Savas is in the lead. And Amazon quickly took the lead by 2012, driving all the other competitors down into the Niche Players Quadrant. Microsoft quickly caught up, and now Google is playing catch up as well. So AWS had their last summit in Hong Kong and they made an announcement that there's going to be a Hong Kong region opening in 2018. And this will be the eighth region in the Asia Pacific area. The other regions include Singapore, Tokyo, Sydney, Beijing, Seoul, Mumbai, and then a region in China, which I have trouble pronouncing, but I think it's Ningxi. So this will be their eighth region. And talking of AWS summits, we will be at both the Paris summit and the London summit next week, so if you see us, come say hi. The big announcement this week was around DynamoDB Accelerator, otherwise known as DAX. And for those Aussies out there, I'm not talking about underwear. It is now generally available and it's fully managed, highly available in-memory caching system for DynamoDB. And it delivers up to 10 times performance improvements. So you can go from milliseconds to microseconds, even at millions of requests per second. And DAX does all the heavy lifting to allow you to do this. You don't have to worry about your developers managing cache invalidations, data populations or cluster management. So now your developers can focus on building great applications for your customers without having to worry about performance at scale. DAX is now available in Northern Virginia, Ireland, Oregon, Tokyo, and Northern California. And the thing we've all been waiting for is reInvent 2017 and tickets are now on sale. reInvent is held in Las Vegas every year and it's the largest gathering of cloud computing professionals in the world. It's held over four and a half days and this year there's over a thousand sessions, multiple hackathons, boot camps, and some exciting surprises. reInvent has actually expanded massively and is now being held across a whole number of different hotels. And these include the Aria, the MGM Grand, the Mirage, the Venetian, Encore, and of course, Replay will be featuring in the link lot. And for those of you that don't know what Replay is, it's the biggest cloud computing party on the planet. It's insane. And just a few hours ago, the AWS subreddit for Amazon Echo started to explode with users complaining that their Alexa devices had stopped working. And what was the cause of this? Well, Lambda went down in US East 1, and there's been no word from AWS about the cause. The issue does appear to be capacity related, indicating they may not have had enough resources to process the number of events on the service. Now, to protect yourself against this, you need to have a multi-regional deployment. Now, this did cause the A-Cloud Guru platform to go down temporarily for about an hour. And we are going to write a blog post about this in the next couple of days explaining uh, what went wrong and how we're going to fix it moving forward. So that is it from me. I will be at the AWS summits in both Paris and London next week. So if you're about, come and see me. We'll be handing out lots of t-shirts and uh, we'd love to catch up with you. Thanks a lot, guys. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.